necessary supplies and medical assistance is being provided through helicopters to 13 villages in Uttarakhand's Chamoli district that have been cut off due to the glacier burst incident, Union Minister Amit Shah informed. As India-China tensions continue despite the efforts being made to resolve the border issue, the government has said that as many as 80 Chinese companies are actively doing business in the country. Replying to a question in Rajya Sabha regarding the restrictions on Chinese firms from doing business in the country, Minister of State for Finance Anurag Thakur said that 92 Chinese companies are registered in India at present, out of which 80 companies are having the status of active at present. The Supreme Court stayed the arrest of Congress leader Shashi Tharoor and six senior journalists in connection with FIRs registered against them for allegedly sharing unconfirmed news on the death of a protester after violence broke out in Delhi on Republic Day during the tractor rally. The COVID-19 cases are fully under control in Uttar Pradesh as there has not been even a single death of a patient in the last 24 hours while the number of infected cases has also been reduced to zero according to Chief Minister Yogi Adityanath. Prime Minister Narendra Modi held a virtual summit with Afghan President Ashraf Ghani and stated that both India and Afghanistan want to see the region free of terrorism.